Vitiated Bethany. This is... Can you turn that off? This is a character all about static. They have some really cool mechanics as you're already about to see right here. This is a, uh, I'm assuming a static heart. These are a special pickup that uh, Vice Shaded Bethany specifically gets. I believe it's a 25% chance for an enemy to drop that specific heart. There you go, we're gonna see a bunch of them soon, and especially after this room's done. She starts are actually higher than base damage, but lower tier rate. Everything else seems the same except the low luck. We have a pocket active named Channel Pamphlet. And just like normal Bethany, we can use these static hearts just like, you know, regular Bethany with soul hearts or tainted with uh, red hearts to charge our items, including the pamphlet. So then you're probably wondering what the pamphlet even does, right? Well, it's a three room charge. So that means we'll need three static hearts to charge it in case we're just not naturally charging it. When we use it, we get a little wisp. A wisp looks like a dogma wisp of some kind. It's definitely a cross and it's just, you know, searching around. I don't know what it's doing. It does contact damage. It can block shots, but it doesn't shoot. It doesn't do too much. But where it comes really in use is specifically with this TV that we saw earlier. Let me give myself a bunch of wisps, right? Boom. Hemoptysis. Now, when I touch the TV, boom. Hemoptysis appears and it's my item forever. So basically the idea is we're sacrificing wisps to give us some items. Now that would be all dandy and all, right? Like, oh wow, that's cool, extra items. But that would be kind of easy. So whenever you just pick up a random item, instead of, uh, you know, there's a TV here, we decided to take this item, we would get a stat down. There he goes, a small tears down. So as much as possible, you're gonna wanna try to not, you know, take a random item that you see. Another little mechanic is that the more wisps that you sacrifice to the TV, uh, generally the better item that you're gonna have, right? You want more rings of wisps around you. So definitely the way to play this character is probably just get a, a general starting item like how we have right here. Him up to and Ghost Baby, that's okay. And just get like a bajillion art. Find a TV and then sacrifice it. It's like basically a guaranteed quality four item. Sounds good to me. So I think that's how we're gonna handle this character, right? We do have a a full pamphlet that we could just use i guess you know even if it is only gonna be one wisp and we're going for the static heart like giga stock up all of my bonds that is not how sentences work and just like get a bunch of wisps around me i should still at least get like the one wisp play if i have a tv right my god i was so wrong i'm not taking that Batman, uh, I don't know how bad the stats down are, right? Like, I don't know how bad a damage down is. My thing is that, you know, I don't know if an orbital is really worth a stat down, but if it isn't as bad as I'm thinking it is, like, a 0.06 tier rate down is really not abysmal. I feel like I might want to take this orbital. Well, we're never gonna know until we try. I got a range down and it was so minimal, I don't even notice it. I guess it should be knowledge that I should have, right? Because I believe the way that it works is, you know how when Bethany just gets a bunch of wisps, you just get outer and outer rings? I believe the quality of item that you're gonna have is based off how many rings you have. But I don't know how many rings it takes per se, or I guess wisps, to make a ring, right? Per? I should, I should have that memorized. I'll, I'll look that up for you guys. Oh, that is highly unfortunate. Those static hearts are over there. I will... Oh, sacrifice a bomb? Nah, no freebie. Let's just bomb in there. I guess I'll try and just use channel pamphlet whenever it's off cooldown. But I'm not gonna use the TVs unless I really have to, right? Was in here. It's a treasure. I oh, English no worky. Ah, uh, I was so not used to seeing a TV in here. <laughs> I'm gonna take the blind. I don't care if it's a sat down. Fortune cookie is incredible. I'm actually really happy. We do have a wisp, so sure, why not? Tiny planet. I really don't want this to be a tiny planet run. You can actually reroll items, right? So I can give this uh, tiny planet one more wisp. It would be another very low quality item. That's actually good. I did not know that's quality zero. Give me, give me. What are you offering? Boom. That's actually absurdly good. One of the best quality zeros IMO. I like that they aren't obnoxious with the static, by the way. They could have definitely turned that up by 15 and just blasted your ears. I like that it's like a, a soft, faint sound. Blood fight isn't actually going to be too scary, I don't think. We have spiders and Ghost Baby has been getting more kills than I have, I think. My man's is fragging. He's having the best game of his life currently. Bro's 15-0 on Mirage holding with an AWP on mid. It's so over. Uh, I'm kind of curious about my health. It doesn't seem like this character is, you know, too aligned with devils or angels, which, I mean, makes sense. They're staticky. It's dogma, right? So, I'd like to go angels because I just trust them more. Caffeine pill take. We get this. Sure. Speed down. Kind of sucks, whatever. Let's go. I'm thinking maybe 50? I don't, I, again, I don't know, like, the amount necessary. Oh, Soul Heart's so good for me to participate in the, uh, good TV static items. But I think 50 is a pretty good guess, right? That's pretty, oh, that's pretty generous. Another Soul Heart, too. What, what is in here? Um, blind. 
Nice. See, the thing is, is it's not like Vaishade or Bethany can't get good items. It's more like they can't get good items on the TV if they don't have enough hearts, right? But you can still find okay stuff in the treasure room as long as you're willing to spend a bit of stats. And so far, the stats down has not been very detrimental. In fact, it's been very, very, very simple to deal with. Ow. Let me spend this one wisp here. Or two wisps, sorry. I love you, best bud. What was in here? Cross space? Yeah, actually. And a good deal chance for my angel. This is actually really sick. We get some chests. That's okay. Nothing crazy, but wub wub worm. He do be wubbin. I'd like to purchase something. Oh, wow. Dreamcatcher. I don't know if Dreamcatcher was fixed. Did I ever fix that? We're about to find out. <laughs> I had a little bit of mod conflict for a bit, and so it made it so Dreamcatcher for some reason. You know how it's supposed to show you like what's happening on the next floor? It would just happen off screen, like the animation, so I could never tell. We'll see. I probably didn't fix it, but maybe. Just gonna channel pamphlet real quick and then take a portable slot, which I don't really want, but you know, I'll, I'll reveal it, you know? That's cool. Thanks for showing up. And then let's fight the boss. We also have Mirror Dimension to be very excited for. I wonder if the stat down that you get, similar to how many wisps that you, you know, sacrifice, you get better items. Maybe the better quality items that you take, the bigger the stat down. That would be really cool if that's the case. Also, it makes sense, right? I haven't taken the best items ever, so maybe that's why I don't feel like I've gotten that many of a, a big stat down. Or I could be spitballing. I don't know. Uh, we just take you. I guess we just take dad's key, right? Ring? Sorry? <laughs> Not very similar. I don't think you would be able to stick a ring inside of a lock and jiggle it open. I wonder, do we get an extra TV here? Because it's technically treasure room? Cool. Uh, I'll use one static heart just to get this going and get mom transformation progress. That's good. There is one final mechanic I actually have not mentioned yet, which I'm waiting to use for the static hearts when I decide to use them, right? But when you use the channel pamphlet in a special room, you know, instead of just openly using it, you have a small chance to get a special wisp of that special room that you're inside of. So, you know, if I use the uh, channel pamphlet inside of an angel room, I might get an angel uh, dogma wisp. And those extra wisps, depending on how many you have, each one of them gives you a 10% chance to take from that specific pool. So let's say I had, a, you know, 10 angelic dogma wisps, I would have a guaranteed angel room item from the TV. We're gonna keep that in mind. I'm probably gonna use my channel pamphlet in something like the secret room or the angel room. I feel like no one talks about how broken dad's ring is. <laughs> Like, that thing is borderline quality 4 with how much damage it blocks. It is not natural. Look at what I am performing on Min Min right now. It's called freeze mode. Freeze. You're not doing it. It's actually so nuts how good an item it is. I only received a 0.06 speed down. I'm picking up that growth hormones and it really didn't even matter to be honest with you. Just because I got, you know, growth hormones is a speed up. So I'm starting to think... Uh, taking items that give stats down is not dependent on the quality you take. It might just be, uh, you get a stat down. What does Dreamcatcher show me? It's static during the cutscene, that's cool. Oh, pencil and- okay, it works, never mind. It's clutch, I've never been so disappointed in my life. That being said, I don't think I'd be happy finding a single Ashbit boss other than, like, I don't know, maybe, like, Tough Twins? The Hollow? What are they called? The Tough Twins, but weird. What are those bosses called? Why is it, in my head, I feel like an Isaac boss has a high likelihood of being called Rapscallion? Is that weird? <laughs> Maybe I'm crazy here, but I feel like Rapscallion is like for surely 100% an Isaac boss name. Oh, one day we'll get to 50. In the meantime, I'm not taking IBS. <laughs> Most likely one of my least favorite items in the game, unironically. We get Binted Rock here. We get Soul Heart back. Very good. We're close. We're close. I think by next floor, we'll start spamming our channel pamphlet and see what we can get going. It is a pretty cool test though. I have very low quality items, not the best stuff, right? It's not a terrible run, but it is a nice challenge that I always look forward to. Fortune cookie, nothing, and then treasure room, analog, we know the other one's pencil, right? Uh, here specifically, I'm gonna take pencil, I think, and then take whatever this is. Infestation, thank you. I think analog is a completely fine item, right? It's also a tears up, but it's a minimal tears up, and the, the benefit that it provides from picking up the item that isn't just the tears up, to be honest with you, it doesn't matter that much if we're being real here. If we're truly speaking facts. Shop? A uh, school bag? Oh my god, I definitely want a school bag. Can I afford though? With that kind of cash? Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I don't need that much more, just a couple cents. Can you blow this up? I'm gonna test this, we need to know. Okay, good to know. 
Did bro just yell and vine boom? Like, I didn't edit that in, I swear to god. He just talked and vine boomed. You know how much I would pay for me to be able to just do the vine boom voice? Like, on command? Like, oh, I just wanted to say something? Oh yeah, I, I can do the vine boom, like, noise as soon as I open my mouth. Just having that on command sounds sick, I wish I could. Clutch gaming is done for. Uh, HP is actually very useful. And we have an angel. <sighs> Is this the time that we just go crazy? I don't know. Or I didn't get an angel wisp, by the way. Or I could do it in like a secret room, which is more consistent. I don't know when the next angel room is going to show up, but I feel like I don't have enough wisps. Maybe I have more than enough. I don't know. Give me that planetarium chance. I will take scapular and I think I'll... Uh, I don't know. Take the keepies. This is actually a really good card to have. And then, yeah, I should go explore a couple bit more. Hold on. Final thing is Curse Room Gaming. Interesting that there actually is a TV in here. I'll just touch it because why not? Shade is cool. A free soul heart so I break even and just get a free item and then we're good to go. Poop. And then we know the right one is conjoined. So I'll be taking that. Shell. Nah, nah, those are Rapscallions. I don't believe it for a second. <laughs> Rapscallions is a real Isaac name. These bosses are changing the narrative, I swear. A mod I installed changed the name. They were never the shell. You can't, you can't, I can't convince me. Matchbook Gaming, and then let's see. We still have a couple more things to explore, but this could be the big game changer we're waiting for. Well, we're basically at that 50 mark that I mentioned. So what do we want to do here? There you go, there's also an alabaster box I kind of am interested in, to be honest with you. I think spawning an item with a Vyshaded Bethany actually counts as stat downs. So if you use like Pandora's box or something and you get stat downs, it just will destroy your stats. So you gotta be careful about that though. I see only one true answer and that is use my Q here. So you'll see eventually when I do this enough, you might see a secret room version of my, there you go, that green little wisp right there. I think that means that when I play off the uh, static TV, I'm gonna have a 10% chance for this to be an angel room. So we're gonna get a bunch of them, as many as we can. I don't know if that's the maximum. Should I just use more just in case? I don't really, you know, I don't want to be wrong about this. I want to use it as much as I can. What? You can't? Well, you can with batteries. What? Okay, excuse me. <laughs> you can charge the channel pamphlet with batteries and static cards, but not through charged beggars. Interesting. Right, because I'm not messing this up, right? This should be either overcharging or going straight to my channel pamphlet. Just double check. Yeah, it's just giving me a, a useless uh, charge for some reason. Okay, well, let's figure out what we got. H how many wisps do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six. Like f five or six secret room wisps. Probably a secret room item that's really good. Oh! There you go. And that's kind of how you play by Shade Bethany. And now it's GG. Let's go, dude. I'm glad my Dreamcatcher is working again. I love seeing this uh, little animation. That looks like PhD? To be honest with you, that looked like a little kitchen mat that you place it to like suck up all the water. I don't know what that was. So we are far from being done here, right? Like, yes, that was cool in concept and we proved it. But now it's time to get really broken. I'm going to get even more hearts. And this time we're going to spend it probably on a devil room or angel room or whatever just seems really cool for the time. Was it PhD? I don't know what this is. Ouija board. Okay, I thought that was the other option. I just I wasn't too sure. You know what I've never done? I've never frozen these guys. Can I? Well, never mind. <laughs> A little too powerful for today. Planetarium Gaming! Nice, dude! I will now receive Mars. You're- oh my god. What is that? What is that? I'm not crazy, right? That is a fossil, a literal dinosaur, a snail that's been fossilized. Now, unless this is the giga rare 0.003% chance of this random rock that I've never seen before, I'm pretty sure this has to do with the mod. So what are you? Oh, bone heart rock. I mean, that makes sense. It looks like a fossil, right? That's uh, actually a really cool concept. I love that. So I know I did say, ah, oh, you know, I'll be modest. I'll go for a quality too. But, I don't know, dude. It do, it do be looking like I could have another 50 real soon. Not to mention, I'm being way better when it comes to managing my natural wisps. I got way more here. We'll see, but I'm, I'm not gonna hard commit just yet, but I'm thinking about it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I see that right? Am I crazy or do I need to actually break the enemies open when they're icicled in order to get a chance of getting a static heart? Or, or am I nuts here? Because that would be very important information. I feel like I've been getting static hearts without breaking them, so I'm, I'm sure not. I Very small detail, by the way, but I'm noticing whenever you TP, you TP with static, which is one of the coolest details I've seen, actually. We are now big mode. Dunky moment. I'd love to use the Mega Mush here, but I'm not going to. Doesn't feel worth it, right? Go get him, Linger Bean! I'm pushing him along! Oh my god, Linger Bean's actually gonna be useful for one time. It disappeared! 
the moment you could have been useful. This was your moment. I can't believe it. I've never felt so betrayed in my life. Well, we don't even get an angel room, so let's just go. It doesn't really matter what shows up here, but knowing the blind is pretty good. Skull hat? Oh my god, it was so worth it to know. Cursed eye is right there. Not worth it, but Guppy's collar is? Let's use Mega Mush right here, and then we'll kind of recharge it with that charge key and move along, right? So here's my thing, right? While I stomp around Mega Mushroom mode, we have an okay amount of wisps. Not the craziest, but I do have a 70% chance for an angel. So I feel like I just want to go hard here and just do it. You know what I mean? Like, so what if it's not enough hearts? It'll probably be okay. I want to see what this thing could do. I'm assuming that's another fossil rock, by the way, for a bone heart. Yeah, that was correct. Nice. Uh, fanny pack. This is conjoined. This is pretty good to have. Another stat down. A small, a small stat down until I decided to take conjoined, in which case it was the fattest stat down, my lord. It's okay, it'll all pay off. Another speed down, I'll be okay, don't worry about it. I'm a trooper. <laughs> it's all worth it. It'll all be worth it. Well, we're about to find out whether or not we uh, get this angel. If it's an angel, you know what? I'm just gonna spam it. I'm gonna spam the channel pamphlet. We gotta figure out what's going on here. I'm gonna need some major buffs for this build immediately. Stat. Pronto. Ow. I think you stomped on me and I immediately died. I somehow hit a devil room. <laughs> maybe maybe that's what the game is trying to tell me. It's trying to say, you know what, dude? What are you doing? You gotta be devious and evil. And you know what? I'm, I'm starting to believe that's true as well. Alright, let's do it. Boom, 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 boom. We got a lot. We did not get the outer outer ring, I don't believe. So we'll probably get a quality 3 item. But there are a lot of devil wisps here. So the chance of us getting a devil item on the next floor is pretty good. All right, I take your bait, Mr. Devil. You, you win. I'm now evil. What do you give me? <laughs> Nothing else matters. So worth it. My God. Actually, the item I could have ever wanted. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe my frames don't agree with me. <laughs> maybe I was incorrect all along. Who cares? You know, we don't really need to talk about it, I don't think. So we did not get a devil item despite having a bunch of devil wisps. So it did default to treasure room. But it was one of the god quality threes that are just so insane to look at. You know, like, what, what are other ones? Mutant spiders up there, right? However, it's lagging my game like crazy. <laughs> We got the slow build. I still can't tell if freezing enemies just makes it so you can't get static hearts whatsoever, but I'm starting to believe that's not the case. I think you can just get it the moment they die. Because unlike most status effects in Isaac, when uh, an enemy is frozen, they're just straight up considered dead. Like, they're still an entity in the room, but they're considered straight up dead. So, if it works the way it should, I imagine, like, that's dead. There was a chance for a static heart to show up right there, right? I'm wrong. Oh my god, I'm so wrong. What the hell? I just did it. I broke open and got a static heart. I need to break open the statue? Well, you know what? That's good to know. We learned, right? Not to mention we do have Pencil. Every now and again, Pencil goes crazy. That is the biggest host I've ever seen. <laughs> Bro is towering over it lives. Our second curse room. Four red chests. High chance. Oh! I don't know why I got so excited. <laughs> I mean, Krampus is exciting. You can't tell me they're not. Right? Like, what if I get Lump of Coal? Lump of Coal is godly with this build. We're GG at that point. Yep, see? There's reasons to be excited for everything. There's a bunch of big rooms here. You know what? I'm tired of messing around. Die. If I finish this room fast enough, I think I can go back and kill Satan real quick. I don't know. Maybe the Fallen phase is going to take too long. We'll see. Three, four, obviously no point for a bomb. They're just going to die to contact damage. I need to die faster, please. Uh-oh. Satan, get up! Get up! Someone's at the door! <laughs> Satan, the pizza's here! You gotta have a weird social interaction with the guy and see if you're gonna tip him or not. You probably should. But he's gonna give you a weird look and you're not gonna know how to handle it. I know, you're stomping because you're mad. It sucks, but everyone's gotta go through it at some point. It's one of the facts of life. You gotta tip the delivery guy. Well, we have a lot of wisps and a lot of static hearts. Let's see what we have here. I'm Guppy. Wow. Guppy's tail's the best thing we can find. And then these are all kind of mid. This gives me black hearts in the future as well as one extra right now. I'll take a range down for a damage up. No, I won't. Yeah, I will. <laughs> and I think what it will do is get as many hearts as possible, save the final boss for last, and then fight him. You know, despite it all, we really pulled this run back. Mainly just because of Cricket's head and Lump of Coal being just one of the most classic combos you could have. Really helping us out here. Scatter bombs are cool. A little bit of a damage down from taking that, but I'm realizing the stat downs from taking items that naturally spawn. Truly, just I don't I don't care. Like I could be running at 0.3 speed. I wouldn't mind. I'd still do it. Just more fun that way. Taking D7 there give us a stat down. If I take this, do I get another stat down? Okay, yeah, no. 
it's only the first time you end up doing a room, which of course makes sense. It's worthy of note that the static hearts can also just charge the D7. I gave the channel pamphlet the most screen time because that's the cool new mechanic, right? But I have a feeling, you know, I could probably break the game to be honest with you. If I just dumped all of my charges into D7 with Guppy's tail, I I'd probably end up getting way more items than whatever channel pamphlet's gonna offer me. I'll still spam it though, the natural charges. You know, that luck up actually is not going to be too terrible for us. We are going to need luck, because Guppy's tail has got to pay out. It's already been paying out an absurd amount considering my low luck. So anytime we can max out Death's List, we will absolutely try here. There's another one. What's my stat and or drop? We get an extra soul heart. That's pretty cool. Greed! Now this is good. This is really good, because this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make sure I fight Greed over and over again. I can spawn multiple different chests from Chest Reward here. I might be able to get a D20 reroll. I can reroll all those into chests. You never know, right? So that's going to be our primary D7 location. One must imagine Greed happy. Poor man's just spawning in to die. We do have nearly 50 hearts, and last time we used it, 50 hearts was enough to get us a big outer ring, right? So, do I want to do secret room again? Kind of no, to be honest with you, right? Like, I don't know, I did secret room last time. Why don't we just go full on treasure room? I could just spawn a bunch of wisps and then just use it. Leech gaming, yippee! Item moment, punching bag, one of my favorites before Lost Fly got buffed and it's basically just punching bag. Punching bag really got relegated to an item that's incredible, but something else does its job better. Bro's lost. Oh my, f I, I did it. I told you. What did I say? There's no way. I just get a random drop reverse judgment for no reason. Excuse me? Monstro. Hi, dude. You are exactly what I kind of wanted to see here. There you go. Feeling a lot better about our build. Whatever we're doing currently is just what I want to do. The guppy, by the way, has been helping out immensely. Hi, how you doing, Greed? Bye. Another Greed. Hey, that is important that we find this chest, right? That's another role for the secret room that we're going to reverse judgment. Okay. Let's handle this, right? That's our final boss. We have a D7. Let's see if we spawn one more chest or reverse judgment. Use all our channel pamphlets. It's going to be a beautiful time. First order of business. You're here to die again. We don't get a drop, but that's okay. Two is more than enough. Placebo. Uh, this is super worth it. It's an extra roll. Binge eater is sick, but not needed, right? It's not going to do anything for me. Oh. Ah! Wait, am I crazy for wanting Epic Fetus? For the first time in my life, Epic Fetus is the item? This seems like the perfect opportunity, right? Well, maybe not. I have monsters on. Whatever, I'm taking it. Reroll. Ah! Nothing else matters. Roll this again. Keeper's box. New. I could reroll more, right, by using, again, my static hearts. And I, I, I truly think that's probably the best way that you could play this, but I really want to see what this is going to give me. There's more? Excuse me? Oh, Mantra's Lung works with the Epic Fetus. I'm stupid. My bad. I forgot Repentance is a goat game and they fixed all the bad synergies. I got that rebirth mind. My bad, boys. Yeah, no, Epic Fetus was actually a god pickup for us, right? So let's get a bunch of wisps here. Uh, I think I need a couple more. That's, I think that's the fourth ring out, right? Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to go for more just to be safe. Okay. I think that's basically all we need. Boom. Oh! Dude, broken. An absolute broken mechanic. Does this work? I don't actually know Epic Fetus synergies. Damn it. This is a certified Epic Fetus moment. I roll this and it explodes. Excuse me? Literally how? What? I, I might not know how uh, Vitiated Bethany works in its entirety, but I I'm pretty sure I used the regular D6 there, right? <laughs> Am I crazy? Did I use Eternal D6? It, I mean, I swear I didn't press control right there. It's the normal D6. Maybe I've uh, changed the sprites and I've gaslit myself. Who knows? Well, whatever. We had a, a great time. At least I personally did. And we got a god run going and showcased how cool Vitiated Bethany really is. Goodbye. And that should be it. Thanks for subbing, everyone. GG.